As much as I would love to have that playing in the background, it cannot happen. Listen, my loves, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I have been pressing this video, procrastinating this video because it's going to be a lot. It's going to be rapid fire. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my entire physical TBR. These are all the books that I own physically, but I haven't yet read. This is a literal nightmare because I haven't actually counted yet, but we'll tell you the number at the end. There are so many books, like over a hundred here. So I think what we're gonna do is just like pick the book up, tell you the name and the title, move on. I'm gonna try and split this video up into categories like a little bit, at least like one or two, in case there's some that you just don't, I just dropped my hairbrush, in case there's some that you just don't care about. But honestly, we need to get through it quickly. I have limited battery space, limited time, and limited memory card space. Also, I've worn a lipstick that makes my teeth look super yellow, so I'm just, a lot of good ideas today. I know I'm literally having the opportunity for judgment here. I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know how we got this out of control, but it has happened and it is a thing and I'm trying to get through these all, but you know, we'll see how we do, how we go along the way. Okay, so this first stack is a stack of arcs. So I've got blue postcards by Douglas Bratton. A good girl's guide to, a good girl's, a good girl, oh my gosh. We're not doing this. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. The Atlas Paradox by Olivia Blake. The Tangle Root Palace and Other Stories by Marjorie Lou. And The Yellow Kitchen by Margot Vidal. So there's all the arcs. Really randomly, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Beautiful folio edition of it. Some more random books from out in the bookshop in the corridor. The Last Act by Brad Parks. Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. The Last Place You Look by Kristen Lepionka. The Expatriates by Janice Y.K. Lee. Dinner at Homesick Restaurant by Anne Tyler. Life of Pi by Jan Martel. Excuse my pronunciation with any of these, by the way. The Sisters Brothers by Patrick DeWitt. I love his cover. China Rich Girlfriend and Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan. Milkman by Anna Burns. The Woman Destroyed by Simone de Beauvoir. The After Party by Anton Discafani. And The Paris Wife by Paula McLean. On to the next stack. By the way, in this video, I'll be showing you like short story collections and things like that. Most of them I will have read some of the stories in them, but not all of them, so I still decided to include it because there are stories within them that are on my TBR. The Collected Works of Roger Kipling, his ancient copy. The Adolescent by Theodore Dostoevsky. Goodbye to Berlin by Christopher Isherwood. Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest in Other Plays. Oscar Wilde's The Complete Short Stories. The Golden Ass by an author whose name I always forget how to pronounce, so I shall not. Bright Head Revisited by Evelyn Moore. Bonjour Tristesse and A Certain Smile by Francois Sagan. I Die For You and Other Lost Stories by F. Scott Fitzgerald. I haven't read any in this book yet. The Beautiful and the Dam by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Nadia by Andre Breton. Sense and Sensibility and Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. I'm literally standing on books. War and Peace and Anna Karenina by Leo... T War and Peace and Anna Karenina by Leo Tos... War and Peace and Leo... Leo Karenina, wow. War and Peace and Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. That's as best as we're gonna get. I keep mispronouncing every single word. Life and Fate by Vasily Grossman. Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. It's a heavy snack. <laughs> the Rattle Bag, edited by Seamus Heaney and Ted Hughes. I've read a few of the poems in there. The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Becoming by Michelle Obama. Consider the Fork, a history on how we cook and eat by B. Wilson. A Long Way From Home by Peter Carey. Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. This is also an arc I just forgot to mention earlier. And Cat's a Literary Anthology by, I'm not sure who corrected this, but it was published by the British Library. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I truly can't pick this stack up off the floor. Okay. We're doing this in bits because that did not go down well. The Animals of Farthing Wood by Colin Dan. The Body Keeps the Score. Mind, Brain and Body in the Transformation of Trauma by Bessel van der Kolk. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. William Shakespeare's The Sonnets and Narrative Poems. I've read some here and there in this. Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Jamaica Inn and Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. Metamorphosis by Ovid. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. The Lay of Marie de France by Marie de France. Also, I always say the Laïs. I don't know why. I just said it once one time and it's been stuck in my brain, but I'm pretty sure it would be the Lay because it's French, obviously. Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. And Heidi by Joanna Spiri. All right, then this stack I have here is the final stack, but I'm going to be inserting it in the middle of the video because... I forgot about it basically. It should have gone earlier. Yikes. I should have counted these when they were in piles. They're now all over my floor. I'm truly like a fool because I am today's entertainment for you. What is wrong with me? Oh my goodness. The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot. I'm gonna snap through this because I need to do some counting. This is so heavy. <laughs> the Unfinished Tales of Numenor and Middle Earth by J.R.R. R. Tolkien. I can't speak. I haven't even read The Lord of the Rings yet, so that's gonna happen in a while. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Story and Arts by Akira 
Himikawa. Black Widow, this is Dusty. Black Widow, The Complete Collection by Mark Wade, Chris Samney and Matthew Wilson. Never Any End to Paris by Enrique Villamatez. I can't pronounce that name, sorry. The Bay Itself by Joe Abercrombie. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. The Castle on Sunset by Sean Levy. Bowering Off Mother and Other Stories by Daryl Darrell. I've read like half of this and then I put it down and I have never completed it. And I read it at the sea, as you can see by this massive water damage on it. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Save Me the Waltz by Zella Fitzgerald. 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Do Andrew's Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. So that's it for all the books that live out on the bookcase in the corridor. If you wanna see my classics collection, which is basically like a little mini bookshelf tour of that bookcase. I think I've knocked the camera during that process. I'll link it on the screen and down below. But yes, now we're gonna get into this entire bookshelf, which is my, in my bedroom, TBR. Mostly kind of contemporary work. First of all, we have a couple of books here, which were on my March TBR, which I haven't managed to get to yet. And that is Beautiful World, Where Are You by Sally Rooney and Surrender, 40 Songs, One Story by Bono. And now I'm gonna find a way to shimmy over and get to the books that are over here. So I think we're gonna go through this. Um, probably, we'll do bottom to top. I'm actually certain there are hairs on my face, but I can't see them. But I'll definitely see them when I'm editing. I'll be like, you idiot, how did you not notice they were there? A Winter's Promise by Chris Dabo. Babel by R.F. Kwong. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. If you can't tell already, down here is where I keep all my hardcovers that live in my room. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, author of The Hunger Games. I'm really excited to get this one soon because the film is coming out. Never Night by Joe Kristoff. The Seven Deaths of Ebenon Harcastle by Stuart Turton. The Star of Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Really pretty, Warson's exclusive. And The Power of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Absolute brick of the book. And you wonder why I haven't got to it yet. Then moving up a shelf, Toby Alone by Timothy de Fombelle. That's probably the oldest book on my TBI. I got given that book for passing common entrance by my headmistress. She gave it to all of us. So that was when I was in year six, so it would have been like 11. I'm now 24. If We Were Villains by ML Rio. Legend Born by Tracy Dion. Graceling, Fire, and Bitter Blue, all by Kristen Cashaw. I'm not usually the sort of person who buys series like in their entirety before I've even read the first book but it was like three for seven pounds or something crazy like that so i could not and i've heard brilliant things the name of the wind by patrick rothis an ember in the ashes by sabah tahir iron foot by dave duncan the spider book chronicles the complete fantastical edition by tony ditalizzi and holly black beautiful illustrated copy crown of coral and pearl by mara rutherford raw by cora carmack truly devious by maureen johnson the last time sarah by kristen spicciarelli by the way if there's any books that you see here that i'm mentioning and you'd like to see individual like one book focus reading vlogs on them then please do let me know because i'd be happy to deliver literally any of these i'll do it i've got audible credits to use up so even if it's a chunky boy i'll be happy to whiz through it and let you know what i think i need help with like prioritizing these books so i know what to get to in what order my body by emily rastachowski do transition baby by tori peters midnight sun by stephanie mayer can't believe i didn't read this at the time when it came out because don't really feel like it now although i will probably read it this november we'll see as soon as it becomes twilight season I always get a craving to read the books and I feel like I might put that out there. Bodies of Light by Jennifer Down and My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. So that's it for the bottom two shelves on this bookcase. We're gonna now get into the top shelf. You'd think that would mean that we'd only have one third left, but I've got so many books here that I've had to stack them. So we're still gonna be here for a while. The Disappearing Act by Catherine Steadman. This is a book that I've been lent, so I really do need to get to it, obviously. The Devouring Grey by Kristen Lynn Herman. Radio Girls by Sarah Jane Stratford. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Things I Don't Want to Know by Deborah Levy. Shoko Smile by Choi Onyong. The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion. Just Kids by Patti Smith. Eve's Hollywood by Eve Babbitts. Calypso by Dave Sedaris. It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Confess by Colleen Hoover. You and Me on Vacation and Book Lovers by Emily Henry. One True Loves and After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid and Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. So that's it for kind of my memoir, autobiographical slash romance books on my TBR. And this stack is like contemporary slash literary fiction slash historical fiction, mix of things. Lie With Me by Philippe Besson. Heaven by Mieko Kawakami. Eileen and My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Tessa Moshek. Sorrow and Bliss by Meg Mason. Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arakawa. My Brilliant Friend and Those Who Leave and Those Who Stay, both by Eleanor Ferrante. Happy Hour by Melo Granados. Crocious Agents by Kevin Kwan. Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mendel. And Such a Fun Age by Collie Reed. And then the last stack here is Fantasy Sci-Fi and Dystopian. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. It's the most recent book I've purchased. Legendary and Finale by Stephanie Garber. And also Once Upon a Broken Heart, also by Stephanie Garber and Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah Mass. A Heart So Frozen Broken by Bridget Cameron. The Toll by Neil Schusterman and Gleanings by Neil Schusterman. Ignite Me and Restore Me by Tara Murphy. We've decided that we're gonna be cleaning up this mess. 
post video because I really just do not have the energy right now. This is a bit more kind of poetry and some books I'm in the middle of. Got It by Alexa Chung. I actually got the book of longing but it should be The Flame by Leonard Cohen. So The Flame by Leonard Cohen. I've already read this one. And I'm halfway through Emily Bronte's poems. So yeah, I'm in the middle of reading that one. Also in the middle of reading Addicted to You by Kristen Becker Ritchie and about Vona by Tessa Moshveg. And I'm also in the middle of reading My Rock My Refuse, A Year of Daily Devotion in the Psalms by Timothy Keller with Kathy Keller. And that is a perfect segue on into the last section, which is my Christian nonfiction. My Christian nonfiction TBR, I should say. I'm actually so proud of myself. I'm actually going to put these all up in one go off the ground. Lessons from a Sheepdog, A True Story of Transforming Love by Philip Keller. The Case for Christ by Lee Strybel. The Freedom of Self-Forgetfulness, The Path to True Christian Joy by Timothy Keller. I've got a bunch of these little books. I've got 10 Girls Who Changed the World, 10 Girls Who Used Their Talents, 10 Girls Who Made History, 10 Girls Who Didn't Give In, and 10 Girls Who Made a Difference, all by Irene Howard. I think they're Christian nonfiction, but I'm not entirely sure. Meditation on the Trinity, Beauty, Mystery, and Glory in the Life of God by A.W. Tozer. This has got my name stuck on the front because it's a gift for my granny. MacArthur, New Testament Commentary by John MacArthur. It's on Ephesians. The Pursuit of God, The Definitive Classic by A.W. Tozer. A Shepherd Looks at Psalm 23 by W. Philip Keller. Redeeming Love by Francis Rivers. Seven Little Australians by Ethel Turner. The Prodigal Prophet, Jonah and the Mystery of God's Mercy by Timothy Keller. Experiencing the Presence of God, Teachings from the Book of Hebrews by A.W. Tozer. Destiny, Learning to Live by Preparing to Die by David Gibson. And Out of the Storm, Grappling with God in the Book of Job by Christopher Ashe. So there you have it, everybody. Those are the a billion books that are on my physical TBR. I do want to do a count of these, but I think what I'm going to do is insert like a clip of me telling you how many there are because I need to actually go and count them now and I've made an absolute mess on the floor just everywhere around my room of all these things. So I think that clip will be inserted now. Okay, everybody, I just counted all the books that I own. Um, and I'm actually like so proud of myself because like <laughs> there's so much fewer than I thought there would be. Um, it's also just like a terrifying, disgusting number and it shouldn't be allowed. Actually, the more I think about this, the more I am kind of sickened by myself. Let's just go right out and say it. I have 162 books on my physical TBR. I mean, that's like three years. Three and a bit years of reading. When you put it like that, yeah, 162 books. Some of them are quite short. Some of them are over a thousand pages. War and Peace, I'm looking at you. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna go, because I need to get reading. But yeah, thank thank you, thank you for um, witnessing this travesty. I guarantee you I've, I've missed books out as well. I don't know, like, I don't know where they would be. Maybe, I don't know. Oh my gosh, oh wait, I haven't even read this, I haven't read this. Fantastic space and where to find them, original screenplay. That's 163 books. Right, I'm gonna go before I find more. Um, I don't know what that number just was, but actually, you know what, don't tell me. I don't wanna know, present me, who is, past me is um very happy not knowing it definitely does outweigh the books that i own that i've read although i do unhaul a lot of books so i only keep books that i love so some of these will stay some of them will go it's very exciting to think that there could be though they're definitely going to be like new favorites within this bunch just makes me excited to read but it also is a little bit intimidating because i would love to get this number down but like honestly it's going to take me my entire life thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed this i hope you found some entertainment in watching me struggle <laughs> I've now satiated your need to know about what books I own but haven't read yet. If you did enjoy the video and you want to give it a thumbs up to let me know, I would really appreciate that. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet already and you enjoyed what you see. And you also want to see me read some of these books in the future because it's going to happen. Maybe not all 500,000 of them, but you know, some of these might get out in haul before I get around to them, but most of them I'm, I do actually hope to read. I'm going to leave you and I'll see you on Wednesday for another video. Bye. Besties, I was wearing a Christmas jumper that entire time and you didn't even know. I know, so so talented, so skilled.